Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Angela here. Thank you for, let's do that again. Hi everyone, Angela here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another video. I know it's been a minute or two weeks since I recorded my last video. Um, ever since I've come back from Vancouver, I've just been really stressed and very busy and just trying to like deal with life, which brings me to the topic of this video. What do you do when you aren't motivated to do the things that you need to do? Like, I don't deal well with change and I have a lot of change going on in life right now and I will tell you it's been very hard for me to get motivated to hey work out let's just use that as the running example but these things can kind of just go with anything that you are not motivated to do so you know motivation comes from ourselves and it changes from any period of time from one day to the next like my big motivation for getting up to work out early on Wednesday was it was my 50th Peloton class and I wanted to take a live class and not just do a regular Peloton class in the app so I wanted to do a live class so that really motivated me to get up early and yes I was on it I woke up 30 minutes early and I was ready to work out now any other day I would have been really really pressed to wake up that early especially after not getting a lot of sleep but you know motivation just it flows differently in different people and you know the way that we find motivation is different for each person so i just thought that i would offer you some of my tips that may work for you to um help you find your motivation like i said you know i'm using it as a wellness type thing and you know i'm not good with remembering things so yes i have my trusty notebook here so what do you do when you have to find motivation and i'm using working out like i've already said my first thing is is if you're lacking the motivation to work out always make a plan yes i say make a plan with everything because it's important to have a plan when you don't want to work out because if you don't have a plan of the type of workouts you're going to do and when you're going to do them then you're going to waste time and that's valuable time that you could be using to work out and not you know you're not sitting there having to think about the workouts so plan out what workouts you're going to do when you want to do them see so i've been kind of messed up because i used to teach a cycle class on tuesdays and thursdays and that was already something that was built into my schedule so i built like my running and my strength training around that and so now i have extra time which has been really really bad for me and i haven't been i haven't been motivated to actually get my workouts done so i've made a plan i'm gonna try and run monday wednesday friday and maybe saturdays if i can and i'm still gonna do like a cycle class on tuesdays and thursdays or like if the weather's bad then i always have that option because there was so much change i thought that you know i needed to change things and i probably don't i probably just need to stick with what i know and go with the plan so that i'm not wasting time because that's what i really feel like that i've been doing write it out on your calendar what days you're going to do what workouts and just go with it and you know if the plan doesn't work out you can always change it the next week or whatever so my second thing is i hate when i i'm a list bitch like i like making lists so yes the second thing i have is remember to do something instead of not doing anything at all so if you're pressed for time which has always been my thing because lately then i'm not waking up on time or whatever so the thing is is that i always feel like that i don't have enough time well 30 minutes is better than doing nothing at all so if you can squeeze in the best workout that you can in 30 minutes versus 45 minutes or 60 minutes i don't you know some people work out for an hour i my magic number is 45 minutes i try to do 45 minutes every day but if i can't get those 45 minutes in that's not a wash like you can still do a workout and make it count also ease yourself into doing something if especially if you haven't worked out in a long time and you're trying to get back on track because you are refining your motivation ease into it what say that you're going to walk a mile instead of saying like today's going to be the day that i run four miles and you haven't done that in a long time get out ease yourself into it run a mile 
or walk a mile or whatever and you don't know how you're gonna feel when you're done with that one mile if you want to keep going or you can just say oh well that was enough for today so just kind of ease your way back in the third thing is well this is kind of like the 2b thing so with me when I don't want to work out, then I will go through and pick the hardest workout for me to do to prove to myself that I'm stronger than what I actually think. Because I feel sometimes I get into it and I'm just like, oh, I'm not motivated. And when you get that way, then you start feeling like, well, I just can't do it. And But the thing is, is that you can do it. You just have to get up and do it. So for me, I will go and pick the hardest workout to do. I may suffer through it or I may be a rock star, but when I finish it, I feel like I actually did something. And then that motivates me for the next day to want to go and tackle another workout. I'm always the, the type of person that's gonna keep pushing to the next level. And those are the things that motivate me. So find the thing that's gonna motivate you. Is it gonna be easing in and building a schedule or is it gonna be going hard and proving to yourself that yes you can do it and feeling accomplished at the end my next thing is to create an awesome playlist now i don't run with music so i'm not going to sit here and tell you oh yeah i have these awesome playlists i did run with a playlist at seaweeds because i hadn't run in a while and i just felt like that that would motivate me and it actually did because i did better than what i thought that i was going to do but yeah make an awesome workout playlist of songs that you were currently into not songs that you were into two years ago but songs that are going to get you hyped right now turn that music on and get to going which also leads me to my next point i can talk i promise is that when you have the spark to go work out take advantage of it if it's at two o'clock in the morning and you're up then go ahead and take advantage of that time you know don't be like oh i'm gonna wait till later because i promise you if you wait till later you may not want to do it so if it hits you and you can make it happen do that workout when it hits you because motivation is fleeting take it while you have it all right and the last tip that i want to share with you is to set a short-term goal with with your motivation to get you motivated like if you are working towards something you're more likely to want to go after it every single day don't use a long-term goal use a short-term goal like if you're gonna if you're just trying to get into working out or you want to get back to your regular schedule just be like okay well i'm gonna try and work out four times this week and that's gonna be your goal for the week you know weight loss goals are more long-term and weight loss goals are really hard to like measure yes i understand that we can step on the scale but that's not always fulfilling so you need these non-scale victories to help you go along your way so pick a short-term goal and be like i want to run a 5k in two weeks or in a month or whatever and then work towards that goal and just don't make it like weight based or anything like that because it's just that's gonna play with your mind so just don't do that but yes, make short-term goals, workout periods, what kind of workouts you wanna do, things like that, things that are gonna get you excited and something that you can work towards. And so like when you're done with it, you can be like, I'm gonna take a Zumba class this week and put it on the schedule and you go do it. And then when you're done with your Zumba class, you can be like, yes, I accomplished the one goal that I had this week. And then that makes us feel good. And then we feel motivated to wanna tackle another goal, right? So those are my tips for you for if you are lacking motivation or trying to find motivation or just trying to rebuild your motivation to get back into a regular workout routine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me down below what do you do when you are lacking motivation to get your workout done. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.